All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take your thermal gasket, put it up to the intake manifold. The opening you can see is about three or four millimeters of extra material right there. Kind of hard to see right now, but it's there. So what I'm gonna do, What I'm gonna do is take just a sharpie for a marker. I'm just gonna mark with, with the gasket pressed up against the intake manifold. I'm just gonna mark on the inside. This will all, if you get any on the gasket, it's fine. It'll all come off the rubbing alcohol. Kind of wiggle the kind of wiggle the gasket around because you never know exactly how you're going to mate up the throttle body so wiggle it around just keep marking and pull it off I don't know how well it's going to show you can see the black line the marker all the way around it so that's what I'm going to dremel off just lightly Possible. All right, so after about 20 30 minutes of dremeling, I'm done. Um, as you'll see in the beginning of the video, I used the thermal gasket as a template. I held it up there before there was a little lip here. I used a permanent marker and I traced the inside of the lip, the little material it's showing from behind the gasket. Kind of just give you an idea of what you need to dremel off and then while I was doing that I moved the gasket There's a little bit of wiggle room on the studs so I moved it and kept tracing just to make sure that no matter which way this gasket lands there's no material showing so pretty easy didn't take me too long you know 30 minutes total time tracing and dremeling and this is really smooth it looks a little you know scratched up from the dremel but it's really smooth feeling Definitely smoother than the actual original material on the inside, but I am gonna smooth this out with some sandpaper. Get it pretty smooth. I'm not gonna go crazy and polish it a whole bunch, but I'll just smooth it out a little bit, and then uh, just make myself feel better. You don't you don't really have to. It's already pretty smooth. But yeah, so the the lip is gone, and I mean as long as there's there's no lip from the gasket, you know you're good. Because the back of the, this is J35, it's brand new. So when you put the thermal gasket up to the back of the J35, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually like a millimeter or two of the back of the throttle body showing when you have the gasket up. So you know, when you got this up there, if there's no material here, you're definitely clearing because this opening is a little tiny bit smaller. So it'll be, now that you open this up, it'll be a seamless transition through. No lips or anything to create any turbulence or anything like that. So, no, I don't think this is gonna, gonna gain you a ton of horsepower or anything like that. It's just gonna let you take full advantage of the J35, the extra air. So nothing's getting in the way. But, and while I had the intake manifold off, I went ahead and repainted the whole intake manifold, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll put a before and after. Looks brand new. I use an OEM, um, OEM aluminum paint. It's specifically for intake manifolds and stuff like that. And it's, uh, the original OEM aluminum color, so it doesn't look different, it just looks brand new. And you want to make sure to plug up all these holes, the screw holes, I didn't really worry about that, I don't really care. But the map sensor hole, you want to plug that up, even if you're just sanding, you want to plug this up. You don't want to get crap up in there. Plugged up all injector ports, I already pulled a little piece out of there, but I plugged them up like that. 
I had a little piece, a little piece of tape over the top, and then I cut it with a razor. And then I left this on, because I'm going to delete this anyways, so I just left it on to keep that plugged up. I had a little piece of tissue paper in both the ports, but I left that up. I had tape around here. I had tape around all, any of the nipples or anything sticking off. I had painter's tape around it like that. Just I don't want to really paint that. And that's it. It looks good.